Well, God bless you, saints of the Most High God. Amen. Another privilege, another honor to be before you. Um, thanking the Lord for this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice in it and be glad. Hallelujah. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, saints. But I am so excited to be with you on today. Amen. We're coming out of a great book, hallelujah, of the Old Testament Psalms, chapter 143, verse 8. And it simply says this, saints, and this is the NI, I'm sorry, the King James Version. It says this, show me the way, hallelujah. Amen and amen. My sister is here all the way from Inkster, Michigan. So happy that she is with us on today. Um, I thank God for the saints that's coming in or on their way. Um, the Lord is good and he is truly uh, worthy to be praised. Amen. Again, the entirety of that scripture coming from Psalms 143 and 8 says this, show me the way that I should go for to you, I entrust my life. Everything about my life, hallelujah. And I know that we have this very same testimony that we trust our lives with the father. Not only will he not lead us the wrong direction, but he will keep us on a straight and narrow path. Hallelujah. If we give everything over to him, not rely on our best friends, our BFFs, bring it to him. And the old mothers used to say, bring it to the Lord in prayer, whatever you're going through. He is the answer. He is a way maker. He is a redeemer. He is the great I am, hallelujah. He is a Jehovah Tiskanu, the God of righteousness, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and Jehovah Rapha, our healer. So today we will trust in him. Let us go to the throne of grace. Father God, here we are once again, taking this opportunity to lift you up to magnify you and let you know that we love you, Lord. Father, we are nothing without you. And we ask, oh God, that you not only order our steps, Father, but direct us on what direction to go. Father, we don't make a move without you. And we pray, oh God, that you would have your way, oh God, over those that you bring to this broadcast on today. And Father, wherever they're at, I pray that you would meet them at the need, oh God, in the name of Jesus, those who are going through in their bodies, Father, those who are going through mentally, oh God, I pray that you would meet them at their need in the name of Jesus. We pray for those who are gone through surgery on a day. I want to call out my niece, Andrea, amen. And thank you in advance, God, how you guided her through that procedure, oh Lord, and that you brought her out, oh God, in her time of need. We know, oh God, that you are the God that healeth thee. And your word reminds us, oh God, that healing is the children's bread. So we thank you in advance for healing my niece, oh God. We thank you for being a heart fixer hey, and a mind regulator. We thank you, oh God, for speaking peace, oh God, and giving the doctors, the surgeons, oh God, the tools and the mindset, oh God, to fix the issue. We thank you how you were able to dissipate the blood claw. Oh, glory. Thank you. And how, oh God, in times of trouble, you were able to allow the doctors to go in and clear out the issue she was having with her heart. And God, again, I give you the praise. I honor you. I glory glorify you and I thank you in advance for what you're doing, not just for my family, oh God, but 
for the families that's on the line, the Huff family, oh God, we're praying for them. Oh God, we're calling out the Davis family in the name of Jesus, the Jackson Hill family, oh God, heal, deliver, and set free in the name of Jesus. Oh God, go before them, oh God, and make a way, oh God. And the things that they've called out, we're believing God that you would do it in the name of Jesus. And Miss Anne, who was just joining us all the way from UK, amen, from London, England, I pray that you would continue to touch her body, keep her body healed, give her, oh God, the wisdom, oh God, and the instructions, oh God, to do the things concerning her health. And God, we pray that you would continue to open doors, provide, move over your people everywhere, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. God bless you, Evangelist Williams. I got a little caught up, amen. God is so good, saints. I want you to know that he wrought another miracle for the Carson, uh, Barry, and Allen family, amen. So I'm just grateful. I'm, I'm just gonna give him the glory in advance for what he's already done. I went to him in prayer, saints, and guess what? He let me know that he got this. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm dancing even in my seat. He let us know that he is in control. And the word of God said, if you call on me, huh, woo, I will answer you and I will show you things. Hallelujah. That you did not know. Hallelujah. So for that, he has shown us the things that we did not know. And he has brought a answer of Amen and amen. Yes and amen in the name of Jesus. So saints, let's go to the word because I tell you what, uh, uh, Deaconess Fairbanks, I'm already caught up uh, Evangelist Williams because uh, my niece went in for surgery. Amen. Hallelujah. And it was a, a Jesus case. I want you to know, uh, but God went in <laughs> before the surgeons entered the room and he set the stage in the operating room. Amen. And of course, she is uh, in recovery. Amen. Even if she's in ICU, God said, I see you. <laughs> and if I see you and I raise you off of your bed of affliction, hey, need not worry. So I'm excited today and, and I'm going to try to bring you this word, saints, and, and, and <laughs> woo, glory without losing my sanctified mind. Amen. But thank Thanking God for how he has blessed us on today. Again, I'm coming from Psalms 143, amen, um, verse eight. And it says, show me the way I should go. For to you, I entrust my life. So this word, saints, is not only for us today, but it's for my niece, amen, again, and her family who have been with her while she's undergone this surgery. And the reason why it's important to know him, especially in times of trouble, he said that when you are in trouble, he said, fret not yourself <laughs> for evildoers. He said this, he said to let you know in times of trouble, trust him. He said, I will not only uh, um, redeem you, but I will deliver you from the enemy's snare. And this word, amen, uh, uh, evangelist Williams, it also talks about David going through, you know, David had been through, through some things, but while he was going through, David knew the answer. The answer was to go and call on Jesus. Amen. And not only would he deliver, amen, but he will make a way of escape and he will shut the mouths of the lions. Ah. Ooh, if you don't believe me, let me call up Daniel. And he will give this testimony that when he entered into the lion's den, amen, that the Lord shut the mouths of the lions on behalf of him. He said, hallelujah, even if he perished, hallelujah, that he would not bow down, ha, woo, that he would not pray to another God, 
Oh, I didn't went somewhere else. Amen. Says I told y'all I got worked up, messing around, thinking about his goodness. Amen. And what that this word today means. It says, let me hear. This is another interpretation. It says, let me hear your loving devotion in the morning. Are you giving God the glory in the morning? He said, for I have not, I'm sorry, for I have put my trust in you. Teach me the way I should walk, for to you I lift up my soul. Hallelujah. Lift up my soul. So even though he's going through something, Carolyn, the word of God simply says this, that even in the midst of his dilemmas, his trials, his trauma, that he said that he will trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said he's going to trust in him. Why should he trust in him? First of all, let me just give you a little history about this particular verse of scriptures, amen, coming out of chapter 40, uh, I'm sorry, 143. It talks about David praying for favor in judgment. One thing about David, by him having a heart after God, you know, God said he has a heart after his own heart in the name of Jesus. He knew how to go and get rescued even in the midst of the storm. So what he did, he humbled himself. He recognized that he was in trouble, saints, and he knew how to go to God and say, Father God, here I am, hands lifted up, uh, uh, head bowed down, laying prostrate before you. Now, Father, I'm asking you for compassion. Lord, all these things that's um, lacking in my heart, oh God, go in and rejuvenate and, and remove anything that's not supposed to be there. He talks about how um, this particular outline, he talks about that he complains of his grief. He's going through something in the midst of the storm. He's got to deal with the enemies coming on one side of him, on the other side of him, but coming after him. And so the Lord saying to him in this, he said, uh, not only is he going to deliver you, the word of God says this. He said in Exodus 18 and 20, he says, teach them the statues and my laws and show them the way to live and the work that they must do. So, so saints, this isn't an easy walk. You know, everybody have told you that um, um, living for God is sometimes going to be easy. No, let me just share something with you. You're going to go through something. You're going to go through stages where your faith will be tested. But what I want you to remember is think of uh, the words that David said to the Lord. He said, show me the way I should go. In other words, saints, Pray for instructions. Ask the Lord to cover your going and coming. In other words, not just for divine protection, but ask him to guide you on which way you should go in the name of Jesus. And not only will he give you instructions, but wisdom in the midst of your direction. Psalms 25 and one says this to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. And, and, and it's something about when you are interceding for someone or you're, you're speaking to God and you're asking him, now, Lord, I, I, I don't want to let you go until you uh, uh, touch me. <laughs> Almost like when, when, when was it, was it Jeremiah? Who was it was wrestling with the angels? Um, and he would, I'm trying to think, no, it was not Jeremiah. Um, oh, um, oh, it'll come to me. Saints, put it in the, put it in the comments. It didn't just left me, but the Holy Ghost will bring it back to my remembrance. But he was wrestling with the angel until the angel, <laughs> he said, I'm not going to let you go uh, until you bless me. Amen. It was Jacob. That's what it was. See, the Holy Ghost to bring all things to your remembrance in the name of Jesus. So this is why it's so important that we 
uh, um, give God the reference he deserves. Give him the glory first thing in the morning. Give him the glory when you lay your head down at night. Give him the glory at noonday, um, all through the day. Uh, just tell him how precious he is and how you love him and how he means the world to him. It's something about giving God the praise that he will not only uh, um, hear you and he'll say, oh Lord, let me go and see about him in the name of Jesus. Uh, Minister uh, 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 Fairbanks, the Lord is calling your name. Amen. And you wondering why Oh my God, he's answering your prayers because he remember you in the midnight hour when you brought those petitions to him. He remember how you turned down your plate and you went to him on behalf of your family members. Amen. Your nephew Todd and all of those who um, had a desire to be saved and delivered. Amen. And so he remembers all of those encounters that we took the time to uh, 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 seek him early and, and seek him throughout the day. He remembers those requests. Amen. Sister Vicki, he remembers the midnight hours being woken up. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Lord, not only has he um, spoken a word to you, but he has given you the wherewithal. He has shown you the way you should go. Woo. Hallelujah. I feel it, saints. Psalms 32 and 8 says this, I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. Woo. Woo. Holy Ghost. Thank you. He said, I will instruct you. I will give you counsel and I will watch over you. Hallelujah. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, uh, sister, uh, I, I tell you what, after hearing that in times of trouble, amen. If you get yourself in his presence and I dare you, I, I'll do it like this. I'll uh, how they used to say when we was coming up, I'll triple dog dare you. <laughs> just to call on his name. Uh, Brother Otha, just call him when, when you're going through a little uh, trials and testing and see what he'll do for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. He'll meet you at your need. He will answer your very petition. He will come with instructions. Amen on high. He will show you the way in which you should go if you put your trust in him. Hallelujah. You have to put your trust in him. You can't put your trust in man. Why? Man will disappoint you. They don't mean to, but because they're man. But he is the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. Hallelujah. He is my all in all. So I have no other purpose than to serve him. Amen. For he has shown me the way. And even when I mess up, woo, glory, he's there to pick me up. Hallelujah. Easy for you to go before him. Repent. Say, Father, here, here I am. You've seen me in my distress. And I have failed you. But now, Lord, I, I come before you and I, I need you, oh God, to forgive me. Thank you. I didn't walk by your precepts and, and, and I did things on my own. But now, God, I need you. Forgive me now in the name of Jesus. Psalms 46 and 5 says this. God is within her. She will not be moved. Woo. God will help her. Even when the morning dawns. And on down to Psalms 86 and 4, it says, Bring joy to the servant. For to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. I lift you up, Lord. I give everything to you, Father God. No more of my own. I have been brought with a price. I am a peculiar person. Thank you, Jesus. There ought to be something different between us and the world. So I just come to by to encourage you on today. I wanted to let you know that the Lord is in the blessing business. He is a deliverer. He is a healer. How do I know it? Well, he healed several people. Amen. 
just on today. Ha! Woo! How do I know he's a deliverer? Hallelujah. You're looking at a miracle. He delivered me. So I just want to come to you, saints. I want you to, uh, when you come and listen to this word, to take bits and pieces out of it and ask God to give you a revelation on what this word means for you. Ask him to show you the way, the way that you should go. My prayer every day is, Lord, order my steps. Don't allow me to go to the right or to the left unless you order my steps. Even before my feet touch the ground, I say, Lord, thank you. Woo. Thank you because you woke me up this morning. I didn't have to wake up, saints. We was here yesterday and the sirens was going off. And they said there was a tornado near Tip City, near Huber Heights, near other areas in Ohio. And saints, I woke up. I'm here, but there was somebody who didn't make it. So that's why we don't take for granted his kindness, his mercy, his grace, Ooh, his direction. When we trust in him, in the name of Jesus, saints, we've got a lot to be praying for. I ask that you would go and submit your prayer requests. Go to our website, idacarsonministries.com. Click on the prayer requests, add those in, and we will be calling them out. Amen. Uh, I want you to continue to keep the Moore family in prayer. Amen. Um, asking you for anybody that you know of that's going through uh, um, a, a loss, that we keep them up in prayer. Asking for those who are in need of special finances that God will rock miracles. Amen. For those who are going through mentally. Amen. That God will touch minds. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. He's in the blessing business, Deaconess Lightfoot. And I know the ones who have been faithful, that God is just telling you to hold on. <laughs> Ooh, he's getting ready to show you the way and let you know that he is pleased. So once you submit those requests, then we're going to go to the throne of grace and I'm going to call out some that I have, I want to call out the one from Carolyn. Uh, she submitted a request and I want to make sure that I uh, read that one. Praying, amen, um, for my niece, Precious, asking God to write a miracle for her. Praying for Shemita, um, praying for uh, all of Carolyn's children, one by one and name by name. Praying for our um uh, grandchildren, nieces, and nephews. Again, we're believing God and thanking him for Carolyn's recovery. Amen. We thank God that her eyes are improving. Amen. Via them, um, what is those, those eye drops? But we know, uh, uh, Sister Carolyn, where that's coming from. <laughs> Woo, we thank God he has ordained you. And so he has ordained you from your mother's womb. So we know that your eyes is uh, um, going to be 2020. We calling it out. Amen. No matter how it look, <laughs> we know God is able to um, just touch your eyes as though he's putting eye salve on and you will be delivered and healed. Um, again, I'm going to call out the requests that we have in and any others. We ask that you just put them uh, on the website or you can also put them in the chat and I'll call them out. Uh, again, praying for Anne's sister knowing that God is able to heal Miss Sharon, no matter what the doctor has told her she has. We know that God is a healer. I gave the testimony of how the young lady who had cancer, amen, not only was she healed, her surgery was uh, successful. They got all the cancer out. And now saying she don't even need to take chemo, chemo or radiation. God did a, a right now healing, praying for the Yoakum family, 
asking God to remember the situation with Michelle and Shanae, that God would um, grant that request, praying for Karan, praying for Javon, praying for Michaela and for Ed Yoakum, uh, praying for all those who are uh, receiving um, uh, threats in their life. We come against any bullying in the name of Jesus. We know that God is not in the uh, uh, business of allowing uh, people to continue to hurt people. He said in his word, you reap what you sow. So if you sow love and kindness, that shall, shall you reap. So we're going to ask God to move on that on the behalf of those who are going through calling out um, Lahore, uh, L-A-H-O-R-E, Pakistan. They are uh, sent in a request for us to be praying for them, that they are able to bring the word of God to Pakistanians. Amen. So we're asking um, the saints to remember them again, praying for the Moore family, for comfort and strength, um, praying for Senator Elizabeth Dole. Amen. Um, lifting up my pastors, Bishop Truman L. Martin and Dr. Beverly Martin, that God will continue to strengthen their bodies, give them the wherewithal the, that they need, amen, as they travel, asking that the Lord will provide and continue to bless Maranatha Worship Center and every member and their families. I want to call them out. Again, calling out the foster family, calling out, um, I want to make sure I get everybody, uh, believe in God again for Adrian Ballou Fairbanks, that God will rock miracles in that family in the name of Jesus. So let us go to the throne of grace, saints. And we know that we've already received the answer because the Lord told us that for those of us who follow him, he said that we can come to him, ask and believe by faith and he shall grant it to us. Now, he didn't say when he was going to do it. He has the ability to do it instantly. He has the ability to speak it. He has the ability to blow on the situation. He has the ability to just wave his hand and it shall be done. But we know that before we even ask that he's already answered our request. So we're just going to take it to the throne room and believe God for the miracles he said. He said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, oh God, I am with you. My rod and thy staff compass you. And so God, here we are calling out those one by one and name by name who are standing in a need of a miracle. Oh God, we ask that you will look on those who are going through health issues. Oh God, we speak life to their bodies. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, every artery, every organ, every sinew. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for it now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you said in your word that you are a heart fixer and I'm standing on that word, Lord, and I'm my regulator. And I thank you for fixing my niece's heart on today. I thank you, oh God, for regulating the minds of your people on today. I thank you.